The White House Farm murders took place near the village of Tolshant Darcy during the night of the 7th of August 1985. Neville and June Bamber were murdered inside their farmhouse along with their adopted daughter Sheila Caffell and Sheila's six-year-old twins Daniel and Nicholas. The only surviving member of June and Neville's immediate family was their adopted son Jeremy Bamber, who said he had been at home in Goldhanger a few miles away when the shootings took place. Police initially believed that Sheila, a diagnosed schizophrenic, had committed the murders and turned the gun on herself. Several weeks later, Jeremy's ex-girlfriend, Julie Mugford, informed police that he had discussed the possibility of murdering his parents. The prosecution argued that, motivated by a large inheritance, Jeremy Bamber had murdered the family with his father's rifle and then placed the gun in his sister's hands to make it look like a murder-suicide. However, a silencer was used on the rifle, which would have made it too long for Sheila's fingers to reach the trigger to shoot herself. There was also no gunpowder residue on Sheila's hands. Sheila had been shot twice. The prosecution argued that the first shot would have rendered Sheila incapacitated and unable to shoot herself for a second time. They found a silencer in a gun cabinet. When it was dismantled, there were spots of Sheila's blood inside it. This meant the gun had been used with the silencer attached and returned to the cabinet after she had been shot. How could she have shot herself twice and put the silencer away afterwards? The two shots that were fired at uh, Sheila Caffell, um, the particular trajectories that uh, were, were needed can be demonstrated like this. The, uh, the first one we're looking at is the one in through the front of the throat, having got the the gun in approximately the right position uh, for the trajectory of that shot. You then need to try and stretch down to press the trigger. The difficulty basically is um, having the enough reach um, to actually be able to press the trigger uh, and to keep the neck and the head uh, in the right orientation. It's just a long gun. Bamber was convicted of five counts of murder in October 1986 by a 10-2 majority verdict and sentenced to a minimum of 25 years. He was informed in 1994 that he would never be released. The Court of Appeal upheld the verdict in 2002. June and Neville Bamber are buried at St Nicholas Churchyard, Tolshant Darcy, Essex. Their memorial reads, in loving memory of R. Neville and June Bamber, both aged 61, tragically taken from us on the 7th of August 1985, forever with the Lord. Sheila, Nicholas and Daniel are buried at Highgate Cemetery East. White House Farm is now occupied by East Coast Classics, a car rental company. If you find cemeteries as interesting as we do and enjoyed this video, Please like and subscribe to make sure you're notified of our next upload.